If you are in the process of building out a DIY lithium ion phosphate battery and looking for options of how do you top balance those cells, then this video is for you. I'm going to take you through some of the charges and charging systems that we've used uh, over the last few years to top balance all of the cells that we've tested. And I'm going to give you some detail as to what I like about the different charges, what I don't like, what you should be aware of, all that sort of stuff. Uh, this is Off Grid Van Life and my name is Nigel, so hopefully this is helpful for you and that you find something here on our channel that is useful. Uh, so we're going to start off here with this one. So this is your stock standard desktop power supply. So it's the usual sort of thing where you uh, can either set it to a constant voltage or a constant um, current or amperage. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You just essentially, when, when you turn them on, you choose which one you're going to go for. So either constant voltage or constant current. You you set your parameters based on what's on the screen uh, and then at that point you then connect your battery. So these are fairly elementary. For the most part they are pretty reliable. I have heard some stories from folks that say things like as soon as they start using it the thing just goes crazy and then um, like pushes the voltage right up and then overcharges their cells and things like that. So you do hear those sort of horror stories. For the most part I think they are fairly reliable when they work. And I say when they work because we've been through quite a few of them. <clears throat> so I think my dad, this is probably his third or fourth different model and make. I'm the same. I've been through two or three different ones. And so they're not that reliable in terms of longevity of life. So uh, one of the advantages is that they do a big range of voltage. So that's quite an attractive thing where you can use them for your top balancing at 3.65 volts. And then you can also make use of them in the future where if you uh, just increase the voltage, you could charge your battery when it's a 12 volt battery, that sort of thing. So it's quite attractive from that point of view uh, if they do last, of course. <clears throat> Some brands are better than others. This one uh, is a Mr. Meter or Dr. Meter rather. It seems to have been fairly uh, reliable and, and has been fairly good. But one of the drawbacks with these, of course, is that they are usually very low amperage. So for the most part, I think that they max out at 20 amps uh, but realistically from my experience usually they sort of sit in and around sort of 5 or 10 amps of charging so that means that your top balancing process is going to take a very long time possibly days or even weeks depending on the size of uh, lithium ion phosphate cells and how many cells you are top balancing so that's uh, the first option we do always tend to have one of these at hand though and in in our workshop because they are quite useful uh, from that point of view this is a cheap elementary uh, lithium ion phosphate battery that we found on aliexpress so it's made by weight or weight is what's on the label um, and they preset the charge profile so they preset for for lithium ion phosphate they um, also preset the uh, output so uh, the output is at 15 amps and it's preset to output only 3.65 volts um, so this is quite reliable in the sense that it's really um, uh, sort of easy to use there's no settings you don't have to change anything you don't have to preset any voltage or dials or anything like that literally just plug it in put it on your on your cells and it'll start charging and top balancing obviously it's a fairly low amperage as well so it's going to take quite a long time but that is not necessarily a bad thing there are some schools of thought that say that it's better to top balance at a lower amperage so lower uh, have a, a slower charge when you top balance than uh, doing a fast charge so uh, one of the drawbacks that we found with these, uh, the main one really, is that the fans are very unreliable. So the fan tends to die after probably six months or so. So if you're looking for a cheap option to top balance a set of cells that you're putting into your van or whatever, and uh, you're not that interested in how long the charger lasts, but you're just looking for a one-off option that's going to get the job done initially, and then you're going to probably put it on the shelf or chuck it out or give it away or whatever the case is, then this is a great option. You don't have to worry about the fan. But what we've found with ours is that when they sit in the workshop, they get a bit of dust on them or whatever the case is, eventually the fan stops, starts uh, making quite a lot of noise. Clearly the bearings or whatever in the fan are going. And then at that point, obviously when the fan dies, then you run the risk of the charger overheating and then usually at that point I stop using it just because it's not worth the risk of if the thing overheats and then potentially uh, causes a solid bridge and you don't know what uh, voltage or anything is being put into your, your battery cells because there's no display on it so it's all preset. So yeah, I'd say this is a good one for a one-off option 
uh, but don't expect it to last years and years. <coughs> These two charges here at the end are our favorite. So they, it's a little bit of an interesting one. It actually looks like somebody's just uh, retrofitted something because on the back here, it actually says Dell. It's got a Dell sticker. Um, so it's maybe some sort of uh, server uh, power pack or power supply or something like that. So it's a bit of a funny one from that point of view, um, but they've been very reliable. And essentially what this comes uh, with is the option of, you have a little screw hole uh, on the back of the dial here. That screw hole changes the uh, voltage that it outputs. So you can, and I think the range is from like one volt through to 14 volts or, or, or 15 volts or whatever the case is. But either way, essentially we bought two of them. So one of them we keep uh, preset at 3.65 volts and the other one we preset at 14.6 at volts. And so that one obviously we use for fast charging or if we need to charge a, a completed battery fast or something like that, we use that one. Um, this one we use for the top balancing or at least the finishing stages of top balancing depending on how we top balance and what method we use. The dial itself, that operates the amperage. So when you dial it up, you can go fairly low and, and slow, uh, low amperage, uh, slow charging. And then if you dial it up, it obviously just cranks. This one is capable of 50 amps of charge. And this one here that we keep preset on 14.6 volts is, is capable of 75 amps. So from that point of view, these are very attractive options. And we use these a lot. These are our main charges that we use in our workshops. This is what we, charge and top balance all of our batteries with pretty much uh, for our web store and for helping customers and stuff like that. So very attractive, very reliable. Uh, we've been using these quite extensively for I think six months now, no sign of the fan going. Uh, something tells me that because it's probably uh, from, it retrofitted from some sort of server component given that it's got a dull sticker on it uh, the fan might be a bit more reliable and, and a bit longer lasting than what's in here in terms of cost just to give you an idea because that's an important thing obviously the interesting thing with these power supplies is that they are quite expensive uh, from what i can see on amazon and that uh, you pretty much can't get one of these for any less than probably about 50 pounds, $70 thereabouts. And they go up from there anywhere up to sort of 100 pounds or $150, de depending on the brand and how fancy they are, that sort of thing. So it's really not a cost effective way of charging and top balancing your cells. This one, as I mentioned, is the most cost effective way. Um, I believe that these were somewhere around the $30 mark on AliExpress. So it's a very cost effective way for a one-off uh, top balancing. Uh, these ones now are getting a bit more pricey. This one, the 50 amp one, I think is $70, so about 50 pounds. So pretty comparable to one of these desktop chargers. And so if I had to choose between one of these or one of these, absolutely I would go for this because it gives you everything this does. So you can do your constant um, voltage. Obviously you just adjust your voltage with that little screw hole. And granted it's not that efficient. You don't have a dial to, to turn your voltage up or down, but it's really not that difficult to do. Um, and then obviously you can change your amperage, which is very attractive. And given that it's sort of 50 pounds or $70, that's a very attractive price for the functionality. And you can use that uh, in the future to charge your battery uh, when it's uh, finished, when it's a built battery, etc. And this 75 amp uh, charger, I think is like $90 or 70 pounds. So a little bit more money for the extra capacity, but still not breaking the bank for the, 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 the current that you can charge at. So when you compare that, this is gonna give you probably a maximum of 15 amps, depending on which version you buy. Most of them more realistically sort of five or 10 amps. When you compare the difference between them in terms of your charge rate, uh, it makes these ones a very, very attractive option. Um, so that's the pricing. Uh, I will link all of these options in the description down below. So hopefully that has been helpful to you. If you want to check them out, then uh, go ahead and click those links. And hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, then leave those in the description down below. And as always, we will get back to you. And like we do with all of our battery uh, related videos, I'm going to give a 10% off discount for our web store uh, for the first 10 orders that use this code. So the code for this video is charger10, all one word. I'll put it on the screen here as well. So if you're interested in uh, checking out any of the stuff that we have in our web store or buying any of our lithium ion phosphate battery cells that we stock in the UK to help you out so that you don't have to wait for weeks and weeks to get them from China, then we would love you to do that and take advantage of the discount code. Uh, but as always, 
Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.